What's up? This guy just landed. I'd like to get a close look at it. Why is it not beating him? I don't know. Fish rise in the rain? Mm hmm. What do you think it's random? They don't eat? They can't see a water droplet versus a bug? And they can see monofilament. It's kind of cool how uh, just to see the bug on the lake. Yeah. Because I understand how bugs drift in streams and shit with my fill water techniques. Lacking color. He's a still water lackey. Yeah, they don't do much. Bugs can be very active, though. Yeah. Um, and it's not illegal to use electronics in your stuff. They have uh, temperature-sensitive, tiny little flicker strips. Oh, yeah? That I think you could use in flies. That would be You tied them into a fly, they would, like, click in the <laughs> water and in the air, kind of. Yeah, they'd change. Yeah, get him. Jump in there. Jump in there, Duncan. Get that fly. Uh, we could get food at the store. Yeah, if you're hungry. It, no, the uh, deli. I'd mm. Call in an order. Is that open now? Yeah, for takeout. Nice. Call in an order. Say we didn't catch any bass. Been off the bench for a while, Mikey. Too much COVID. I just got so many flies. Are these cases that are in the county or that are in Lane County um, the people? Are they all traced back? What's that? Are all the people that they've contacted been traced back? Yeah, and actually, all the active cases now can be traced back to like somebody they lived with that tested positive or somebody that had super close contact with. So how are Portlanders going to give it back to us? Well, that's the thing. You're not supposed to travel more than 50 miles for recreation. And Multnomah County still got a bunch of fucking active new cases all the time. That's 150 miles, Duncan. Yeah. Portland, do you hear? No, that's, you're not, that's in people's minds, that's 150 miles. When you say 50 oh, miles, yeah. they put their radar out, like... Oh, I can go this far, and then they could go this far. Right. So that's double, right? Yeah. Like, <sighs> so well, mountain bikers are going to be coming still here into Lorraine and using our fucking store. Yeah. And that's where I mean. Uh, okay. Okay. So just be be diligent. Be yeah, I would I would say next couple of weeks you should be at least as diligent as you have been. Okay. Until we just know how shit shakes out. Man. That's cool. That's good to know. To know. I mean, if people do the right thing and you should be aren't fishing. like, yeah, Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, sons of bitches. Still got a worm? Nope, but that's good. Because that means they're, they're going to want to eat more. I knew there was fish in the air. I could smell it. I had to be in tune. I think those worms do good. Huh? You know why I haven't caught any fish? I haven't called Mark Kimball back. He called me about four years ago, right, right after I got cancer. He was the guy that was the guide when I caught that 44 pound salmon. And he still owns that lodge. And he said, hey, I just want to remind you that that day when I was 15, that day uh, I told you that what I wanted out of this was to give you a free trip. So I remember that too. When Craig said, or he said, you know what I'm giving you? Or the guy, the guide, Mark Kimball, I'm going to give you a free trip. Um, free stay, free trip. You are just great. This was just nirvana. This was the best no day shit. on the lake I've ever, or on the on the river I've ever had. No shit. And to know that your dad died a month a month ago, 
and that this is the circumstances. This is just the best thing. You, I'm giving you a free trip. And um, Craig was like, it cost us a thousand dollars, like to, for three people to be here. Yeah, it was a thousand bucks, you know. So to say, how long ago? Fifteen years ago, you know. To say, I remember this, and we still want. I still want to do this. So, yeah. When Plus, open back up, dude. I gotta I gotta send him the story because I haven't sent him. Have you read my Holy Grail story? No, you told oh, me about yeah. it. But I've never seen it. Yeah, I actually, they're gonna do put it in the book this year. Oh, cool. The thing. If it ever goes out, in that COVID night, my COVID nineteen response in March, just writing, you know what I? Oh, there it is. There he is. Ooh, he's not bad. That's a bluegill eater. That's an eater. We're eating that. You want that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me get my uh, stringer. Fuck yeah. Or should we uh, put them in my pond? Yeah. Let's, uh. Yeah. Always, Dunko. Always. Can the net just suspend them? What if I put a string on the net? Yeah. Because I've got a stringer. He'll calm down. They always do. How are we gonna get him back to your place, though? There's buckets. Or all of them. You want to just string her? Yeah. Just dispatch him. There we go. Careful, the liner kind of sucks on that. But... Oh. I was gonna use it as a bludgeoning. Oh. Bludgeon him up. Oh no, I mean just like in the gills. Yeah, in the gills. Not in your net, please. Yeah. That's a good reference as well. Thank you, fish. Oh, you've been a bad, you've been a great boy. There you are. You will be wonderfully. Fast, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Woohoo! <laughs> bluegill, nice one. That is a good size bluegill, man. Hi, Sharon. This is my brother in law, Duncan. Hi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> good fish, bud. Yeah. Fish. That yeah. will definitely attract bass. All right. How are you? Now then, let me put this worm back in the water. Ooh. Oh, because I rudely interrupted. No, no, dude. With a... Fish on, fish on. That's yeah, it's man. funny how we all freaked out, like, on an ocean boat it would be just... Oh no, you go fishing with Devaney and it is just sheer panic every time you hook in. Are you serious? Yeah, That's it's awesome. awesome. Did you see that video of me knocking him out? No. <laughs> you knocked him out? Yeah, I hit him in the head with a... We had this nice, I had this nice fish on. And I'm reeling it up, and I'm reeling it up. And he's like, get it higher, get it higher. I get it higher and he gets the thing in the boat and he's like, slack. So I just, like, in the, uh, there's like a 10 ounce lead ball, just clocks him straight in the head. And you know, one of these goes down. Oh no, seriously? Yeah, I just don't His legs me. buckled out? Yeah. Oh boy. There's 
something working over there. Look at that. See the thrashing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's that's a bass. Oh, you got one on? That's a bass, yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a nice little... Another little bluegill. That's a good little bluegill. Well, that's just a uh, stringer and then you don't even need a yeah. dispatch. Yeah, that's nice. I got a pretty sharp lighter suit. Oh, Mikey's fucking fucking Well, it's worms. Yeah. I never bring the commission rod out of that. really hot. You know, these bluegill are so hardy, you can string them like this, bring them home, and let them go. Yeah, I, uh... And they live. They fucking live. Do you know the show Meat Eater? Oh, yeah, like he dispels all the myths of all this shit? No, he's just like a huge hunter. Yeah, when I've seen it. Yeah, um... He does, he dispels all the myths? Yeah, he does. He's a fucking stud, dude. I love that guy. He's got a podcast, which is fucking awesome. And he'll have like super high end biologists on. And then he one questions day. their authority. Well, yeah, and he tells them this is not how the real world works. Dude. Well, they're scared of a footprint. That means there's. You say there's thirty. I say there's three. Right. Yeah. I've, I've walked in their woods. Like, <laughs> but he has this one guy on who doesn't bite anything. 